I love being in the ocean because it just always gives you what you need. You know, you're connected to nature. It's this very like huge, powerful experience. You know, when the water's doing something, you do what it does and then you take that back to your life. My name is Chris Ragland. I am the founder and executive director of the Sea League. Our goal or what we landed on was let's make it really easy for black kids to learn how to surf. Um, and I got a group of five black kids. And what we did is every Wednesday and Friday, every week for almost a year, we went down to the beach. You know, we just had the most fun ever. Well, I got hooked on ocean sports because of boogie boarding. <laughs> and I just remember crossing my fingers and just saying like, please be waves, please be waves, please be waves. Looking out of the window, just hoping like right when we got there that there'd be waves. Once you get that itch, once you learn, you get that feeling from boogie boarding, you just always want it. One of the boys, I remember him kind of calling me out, saying boogie boarding isn't cool, you should surf. The next day, I just left my boogie board at home and started surfing. It actually got me to fall in love with surfing, which was you know, kind of my first love. Well, I was inspired to organize the paddle out uh, for George Floyd. Uh, it was just a reaction. June 3rd, he had just been murdered on May 25th. Floyd! Floyd! There was nothing else on Instagram going on. Everything was George Floyd. And I remember that night, uh, I saw a post of someone organizing a paddle out in Los Angeles. Instantly I thought, I should do that here. That's exactly what I can do. By the time it came to actually say what I was gonna say, I was standing on this ladder with a megaphone and there's like a thousand people around me. How I get the chills just thinking about it is, you know. So a moment I never saw, I ne it was never in my plan. I didn't even really know what a paddle out was. When someone passes, it's a way for the community to come together, circle around, you hold hands, you throw flowers. It was exactly what people needed at that time. My grandfather called me uh, the night before, black man from Louisiana. So his one bit of advice to me is what he said, when you go up there, please just tell them, say hi to one another. Look at one another, a little nod, it's as simple as that. To make people feel a lot more comfortable, especially black people. We created the Sea League like two weeks after the paddle out. We've seen a lot of kids, especially kids who struggle in school, they excel in our programs. They're, they're really strong, they're fast learners. They're not afraid to take risks. And that's when that light bulb went off. I said, oh, there's no AYSO. There's no little league for ocean sports. You know, from that, that first year in 2021, we have five kids. At the end of 2023, we had 175 kids. If we're truly aiming to achieve diversity in ocean sports and building community that way, it has to actually represent the community. Our lives, our entire existence depends on a healthy ocean. The air that it provides, a lot of the food that it provides, it's more than just recreation and just surfing, it's a life force for us. So my goal with the Sea League is to create a cornerstone within, at the very least, American society, where kids that live in coastal communities have that relationship and awareness of how important it is so we can integrate that into the way that our society works without the doom and gloom. You know, without them feeling like they're just a problem, there's still a lot of good in the world. There's still a lot of good in our ocean and in our natural ecosystems. It's hard to say now like that our kids are going to grow up to be climate scientists or bi marine biologists, but I know that we are influencing and changing the minds of kids who can very much so go on to change the world. Kill all the jargon, distill down and any of the academic terminology that you hear around the conversation of climate change and just make it a fun, enjoyable experience where people can make friends in the water. Um, I think that's the foundation for what we're really trying to do.